much hoping I am broadcasting. Another one of those technical difficulty situations, but uh, I was hoping for the best. We are back in the Shrine of Amana that we had just reached. Here's some quite lovely singing coming from below. Not at all ominous. And you may, uh, may notice that I'm holding a few souls. No big deal. Just 150,000. There is, uh... A few things before we descend down into the Shrine of Amana that I was thinking we may be able to clean up here. A few outstanding items. The first of which is back in Dranglaic Castle, where we just were. Let's go to the King's Gate. I should show you something else about the fast travel menu, too, that is interesting. In fact, let me, uh, jump back here momentarily, give you the full tour. So something that I didn't quite catch on to as it was happening, I, I caught on a day later, is that when you first enter Dranglaic Castle and speak to Nashandra, the, uh, queen. Let me run back and show you. Back through the Dragon Rider boss arena. Uh, here. After you first speak with her and she tells you, Oh, you've made it far, but you still have to seek the king. An interesting thing happens to your bonfires. Whereas before you were wandering in the darkness without any hint as to where a bonfire might be, after speaking to Queen Nashandra, there's, uh, like this one you can see. There's little question mark icons on bonfires you have not yet found, and even full areas you have not yet found. So Nashandra actually unlocks that and opens the ability to see those. So now you can see how many bonfires there are per session. Like in this case, you can see that I missed a bonfire in Dranglaic Castle, etc., etc. So very, very nice, almost in the same way that game really opens up once you get the Lord Vessel from On Orlando about halfway through the first Dark Souls. This is sort of the equivalent of that. Your travel options and exploration options become much easier. Let me see here. That being said, there is a bonfire we missed. Let us run back to the King's Gate. And I am very much not sure if I am broadcasting. <laughs> I can see my feed live on Twitch. However, I can't see my broadcast bar, or if anyone has uh, joined me here. Hoping for the best. If this is all just going out into the ether, Hello, Ether. How are you? So, the 150,000 souls you see down there are from clearing out this room. And effectively only that. Oh, hello! S so glad for the confirmation. So sorry. So sorry to be needy there. Just wasn't sure. I'm glad you are there and hopefully watching. So, I cleaned out this area of all of the tall, ruined sentinels, the past bosses here, and it has given me quite a chunk of change. A weird thing about this area seems to be that these statues never actually go away. I'm fairly positive I've killed them more than 12 times at this point, and they don't seem to actually 
disappear. I believe the reason for that is because there's all these soul mechanisms. These doors were closed, and these torches were unlit until you, you know, kill a guy close enough that it sucks his soul into it instead of giving it to you. So it seems like they give you an unlimited uh, streak of guys here, just in case you haven't activated all the mechanisms. Which is very interesting. But from the King's Gate bonfire there, if you head to the far back, far left, there is a uh, hole in the ground that may not be there. The, uh, what's his name, Ruin Sentinel, actually knocked it open for me. And I'm not sure if you have to have that happen, or if you can, like, knock it open with a mace or something. Some large weapon. But either way, I am going to now jump down here for the first time. I did not want to proceed without you. Got another one of those guys. Just one, okay? Oh. Has a very nice looking set of armor. And also quite protective. So there, as you can see, is the bonfire we were missing from our set. And now if we look at the travel menu here, we should be able to see all of the bonfires unlocked. Ta-da! Exploratory progress. God, he was going to respawn. And looked at the chat. How desperately foolish. And good morning. So glad you're here. Catching some sun at your front door. That is a fantastic idea. And something that I have not done in, oh, well over a month. And deep below Drangleic Castle, we once again meet our friend, Grand Diver Doll. For the third time, I believe. Again, young undead. You have the look of a true seeker. I, I finally seem to be dark enough for him. Seeker of dark, giver of dark. If you seek, give me, give me, give me some dark after midnight. As much as you desire. Well then. Is dark what you wish for? Yes. Yes, it is. I am finally joining a covenant. And this is the one for me. You are now a pilgrim of dark. The dark chasm beckons you. Those drawn to the dark are destined seek it. Okay. So now that we have the Abyss Seal, which I'm guessing was some sort of ring, perhaps? But it may also act as a key item, I'm not sure. Covenant Ring increases the attack strength of hexes, but at the cost of HP. It's interesting. I don't know if I have to wear it. I hope not. Because I don't use hexes. But thank you. So joining the Covenant has opened not only this portal, but all three portals. The one in the Shaded Ruins, the one that I'm completely forgetting about. <laughs> and this one. Uh, Black Gulch, that's it. And I believe the idea now is that you actually need to descend into all three of these pits. This is the uh, the extension of Ula Seal and Manus, the father of the Abyss, from Dark Souls. This is sort of the similar path line. And so I think you need to go down into all three of them and defeat a group of people who have been trapped by the Dark, people who have tried, like Artorius, to go into it and clear it and have failed. You need to get all of those guys back out of the darkness and, I assume, dead onto the next world. And then you can uh, face the master, the current master of the dark. 
So that is now open to us. We'll have to decide which order we actually want to do those in. But that was one of the things that I needed to clear up before we go any further. Let's go catch another. Um, the Iron Keep has all those lava sections in front of it. Some of them are having items to pick up, and I would like those items. And I discovered that uh, one of the things that helps prevent fire damage is after you defeat the Smelter Demon of the Iron Keep there. This guy back in Majula, the armor merchant, Maulin, uh, gets his armor set. I don't know how that works exactly, but occasionally, after you defeat a boss, their armor will show up back in town. And I believe the Smelter Demon is one of those bosses. So one of the reasons I ground out of that room full of ruined sentinels is to hopefully afford the fire-resistant set, and then we could go get those items. That must be the one. Interesting. So we got the Looking Glass Knight from the King's Passage in Dranglaic Castle. We got the Lost Sinners set from Sinners Rise and Smelter Demon. I don't know what the logic is behind just those three and no others, but very cool. I guess perhaps they were the only, you know, human, human-sized bosses with armor sets. So I guess I will need the whole set. Stop procrastinating, just in case. High fire defense. That is the secret. Thanks for the purchase. Do come again. So I'm not sure to what extent this will limit it. I still might need to use an item or a spell or something to supplement the armor, but let's jump over to the iron keep. Actually, I have a lot of souls still. <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted just to buy those other sets while I have so much. I did not intend to uh, hoard the way I have. Everything I offer is quite. One of the things I typically like to do before starting a new game plus, say is to make sure you have at least one copy of all of the armors, specifically for this reason, in case any of them have, like, a secret fire defense. Or I think this one has, like, lightning defense. Yeah. High lightning defense. So it's nice to have your tool kit all full up at the end. Thanks for the purchase. Do come again. Okay. A little less to lose now. Let's see if we can level up, perhaps. One other change I did make, too. You may see, the, see this uh, Great Fireball spell equipped. Uh, I did grind my attunement up to ten. Let me show you. She's finally saying something different, too. It only took me getting halfway across the world to drang leg for her to finally stop saying that same phrase over and over again. So I did grind this up to ten to unlock one attunement slot, which is probably all I really need for now, just in case there's like some of those mages on Brightstone Cove up on ledges that you just can't get to as a melee character. And so I have one ranged option open to us. And I should use those souls. So sorry. The haphazard nature of this. Let me just get this down. I want adaptability. I'm trying to get my agility stat there up above 100, if at all possible. Okay, now I have very, very little to lose besides my humanity. So, another point of business that I need to, uh, take care of. Ah, never mind, we haven't done the Smelter Demon yet. <laughs> My apologies. Let's jump here and see how these boots work. This will be the ticket. 
Pardon me as I sip. Alright, so there is an item right over there. Let's see how these items help us. If these items help us. Midriff is going to be a bit toasty, but okay. That's fair. Yikes. <laughs> Significant. I didn't die instantly, but, uh, yeah, pretty instantly. So let's see what else I might have here. I think there are some of these orange burr items. Temporarily boost fire defense. What else? That is seeming impossible still. I was hoping the damage reduction would be a little bit higher than that. Well, interesting. So what I may need to do is check my spells list. There is this thing called Flash Sweat, which is a spell that I believe just makes you sweat to such an extent that fire can't can't touch you. You just sizzle against it. Which I think is hilarious. What a hilarious idea for a spell. And it literally says in the description of the spell, like, you're gonna get some looks. You know, people are gonna look at you funny when you use this spell. Don't worry about that. Okay, so let's see if I can uh, do a couple of things to any effect. I'm going to use a small burr. I am going to use a flash sweat spell. Nope. <laughs> that actually would have worked just fine if I hadn't pressed the wrong button. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get the other one down a further path with that. There must be some other item I'm missing. I will rethink it, and we'll come back to that. No problem. I do think I can grab that one. If I don't fudge it. Let's try without the orange burr, even. <laughs> well, there were my souls. Luckily, now that I'm not human, I'm literally losing nothing for these subsequent attempts. I have a distinct memory, long, long ago, playing this on 360, before it was Scholar of the First Sin. I remember walking across that rocky path somehow, some way, and finally getting that item. I just don't remember how. health back there, so I'm not even sure if it's worth uh, really trying for this one. It'll be very easy if I can just grab it and die while I'm here. Human effigy, lovely. That's just fine. Now I have it. And I will think if there is another uh, fire item, slash look up if there is another fire item that I'm forgetting. And we'll try this again. There's other business to get on to. We'll see if I can grab this just for grins. Alright. So let me take a second and redress, if you'll avert your gaze for just a moment. Back into my Alva set. this again.
Fantastic. You can see I'm still pouring with sweat. That's... that's nice. Okay, so, next bit of business, I am going to run back to the Earthen Peak here. Which is, uh, probably what you just took as I was dressing. That's fine. I expected it. Took a quick Earthen Peak there. That's... that's to be expected. I'm not sure if I need to be human for this. I may... Pop an effigy that I just uh, tried so very, very hard to get. I will now waste it. For no good reason. I kind of doubt they would require you to be human for this, but just in case. Alright, so we are back in the inside the giant windmill. Which has long since burnt and stopped. Thanks to our actions. Couple of assassins to deal with. No big deal. There. Yeah. Late to the party. Requiescat in nothing. And a pyromancer. This is one of the reasons that we have this. Oh, joy. Joy and rapture. It very much help in situations where you would have no other way to damage them. As a purely melee character. Alright. I'm not sure if I have to get over there, or if I'm just going down. Let's check real quick. Ah. Yikes. Alright. Oh, and that is also a wooden chest, so if you hit it, you will lose the item and turn the item inside to rubbish. So I probably shouldn't even throw a fireball. But boy, do I want to. Yep. <laughs> Broke the item and turned it to nothing. Well, there we have it. Whatever that item was, no longer available to me. Unless I want to use a bonfire aesthetic in this area. Not aesthetic, ascetic. What are you doing to me, Tongue? So once again, I'm not sure if I actually have to drop down near the fan there. And maybe past the point already, but I have never been back here. This is very interesting to see. Some sort of strange box or a pillar. I guess that is the fan there, so this may be where I end up regardless. Let's take a quick peek around the side. Yeah, Pyromancer definitely still alive. Now that the chest isn't there, there's nothing worthwhile in that room, so I was just being a cow. But thank you, Pyromancer is definitely still there. And alive. I'm not sure if that's a jumpable gap. It must be. Alright. Let's try this. How about you do the spell, and then I'll, I'll come say hi. Okay. Really should have just kept trying to do that, instead of ruining this chest.
rickety looking wooden floor that I'm a little concerned by. So let's get on there and just smash around with a giant greatsword, sure. the ledge? Want to come talk about this? Okay. So this is finally around to the other side of this. I can open that up now. So this will lead back out to the ladder. And the bonfire. But I have not found what I'm looking for. this would do. was fun. And now let's uh, let's try to get up there. We got a little something something. I hope this doesn't just crush me into the roof. <laughs> Left to watch out for that. There we go. I was wondering why there seemed to be two two levels of this room. Now it makes sense. the thing that I'm looking for. There's only one way we haven't gone back here. I guess we should try it. I'm still not convinced about that gap. Finally, it was just down the, uh, just down in the corner. This, as you may remember, is mild-mannered Pate, our dear friend, Peter Serafinowicz. Oh, and hello, welcome, and wave. Oh, he sure did, Pate. That was the time when you tried to lock me in a thing and steal my items. Ah, all the times we've had. It's a very nice hall, though. Thank you, Pate. There's treasure this way. I don't quite have the gut. Well, there's treasure. Th I don't quite have the guts myself. So his thing always seems to be that he's found a treasure that he is not brave enough to pursue himself, and he's waiting for someone else to take the glory so that he can take the items. It's a pretty good plan in Dark Souls. It really is. I'm impressed with his forethought. And what nightmare be this? Surely, this isn't as it seems. 
Yeah. I've been wrong before. Oh, so many times. Alright, I got your treasure. Do, do you want it, or do you just want to sit in there? It's fine either way. Alright, I think I'm just now going to go back up here. There is an item or two down this way left to get. However, I have uh, had my fill of desert sorceresses. Let's continue on. And poison. It's just that easy sometimes. Let's hope I can get to the bottom before it gets me. There we go. Alright, so that is another one of those quest lines. You need to find the people in sort of obscure areas, like that, in order to continue the progress. Now that we've spoken to him, I do believe we can jump back to Brightstone Cove. Your check-based anxieties, which I'm sure a lot of us are experiencing at the moment. I am so sorry to hear that. And I'm very, very glad you have a uh, support system there. I hope you see your, your money soon. So we are going to jump down from the chapel to this rather innocuous-looking building here. Maybe there is another line of this. I expected to see them in here. But no. They keep uh, changing things on me between this one and the one that I played, which was not Scholar of the First Sin. This may be one of those things, or I may just be missing it regardless. So this should eventually be the area where we meet Peter Serafinowicz for the final time, perhaps. But uh, I must be missing something else. Oh well. There's our friend the sinkhole. So I guess the only way I can go is down to the other bonfire. And that'll be fine. I can accept that. If I can only remember the way. Apparently not that way. Unless I can jump this. Aha! work. Sorry. Pardon me, sir. expect him to be alive for some reason. There we go. Alright, so we'll have to come back uh, for the fire items and for paid. My apologies, I was not as prepared as I thought I was. That'll happen. So, the actual progress path we are on remains the Shrine of Amana here. Let us take a look at it before we have to go for the day. I will regroup for these other items, but thank you for bearing with me.
I am still human. That's probably not for the best, but yeah, let's try it. So what seems to have happened, to briefly, uh, re-rehash, retread, something, is that, uh, we went through Drangleic Castle, the Queen informed us that the King had fled through a, a secret passage, effectively. I am assuming this is an enemy. Yes. So the king fled uh, the castle, and it appears as though his secret passage leads to this rather strange underground shrine, which bears a passing resemblance to Ash Lake from the original Dark Souls. Now this, is this an enemy? <laughs> Every other one has been. I'm always curious when they don't immediately become aggressive. That would have been another easy chest to destroy. So somewhere down here we are still expecting to find the king in question. Even though we are no longer in the grounds of the castle. Huh. Maybe I just need to get this... Later. There we go. I will look for it down there. I don't, at the moment, have any sort of, uh, rusted iron ring equivalent that I know of. I don't have anything that lets me move faster in water. And I sure would like to have something. I'm also assuming this is another... There could be chasms in the water itself that are bottomless pits. You need to be careful where you step, sort of thing. Seem to be a lot of these sparkly gentlemen hiding in the water. Every which way you look. Singing has stopped. I'm sorry I disturbed you with my noises. Please continue. Interestingly, the glowing has stopped, too. I wonder if that song was giving these guys a buff. And that buff, like my stamina green sparklies is usually visible. So it seems like the song was giving them something. But now I scared her and it stopped. Yeah, so as soon as she starts singing again, sparkles. It must just be a distance thing. She doesn't want me getting close. Giving away her position. So fascinating. So I wonder what the spell does, if it's healing or damage reduction or what? Just a sort of soothing balm for the nerves. Okay. Let's see if there continues to be any land out here. Always take a twinkling titanite. It is 
there's even a sparkle away effect when she stops singing and the buff stops. I'm sorry I'm killing all your friends out here. I just, I don't, I don't know what else to do but kill all of your friends. I found the crimson water, if anyone was curious. It's over here. Alright, that must be one more. There we go. Okay, I, I regret to inform you all of your friends are dead, but can, can I come in and speak with you? Good store of wine built up for the summer. That's nice. Hello. Nice rug. Tasteful. Elegant. Appreciate that. All right, what's your story? I knew you were coming. And stop singing. We are milk Okay. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. Okay. We will sing here forever. As we always have from long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. That seems sad. Seek, I'm sorry Patrick? to hear that. But what is a king, yes. After all, we know nothing of the world outside, for we will never leave here. That's interesting. Is she talking about the king as well as herself? When we sing, the little ones dance. They are in the same position of ignorance inside. To those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. This is all that we Oh yeah, I'm do. sure that'll come in hugely handy, thank you. When we sing, the little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. And they sing the little ones dance. That makes me wonder if the, it's not like a buff, but is actual fireflies, perhaps? Like she's singing to make the fireflies dance, and then they do some other thing, some side effect. Comforting the the dead in the dark. To those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Ah, uh, question in the chat. What is why does it keep saying toggle on her? It's because there's this uh message back here too close to where I'm standing, so you can either talk to her or toggle to the message. Something nice they added, because in Dark Souls you could have one or the other and people could cover up things. Which was sort of upsetting. So yes, just because I'm standing close to that message. When so you sorry. Sing, the little one's done. The little one. Okay, I think we're back around here. Very interesting. So the Milfinito, whatever that stands for, appear to be singers, slightly magical singers, of which I think there is another one up in the castle, isn't there? Behind that key to the embedded guy. So the king employed singers that make fireflies dance to soothe the kingdom it seems as it descended into darkness the old bread and circuses that's devastating devastating to my pride okay
So sorry, pardon me. Does seem to be a rather obvious uh, feature across the water there. I wonder if we curve around to it to get to that cave entrance or whatever it is. Nice thing to have right now. A nice soothing uh, communal song to make the fireflies dance in a time of uh, unease, to put it generously. Oh, just just a little unease is all. Quite generous. Okay, and who else is going to ambush me? Go on, get it over with. I'm prepared. Okay. We're into the first major feature of the Shrine of Amana. That is quite a bit of dancing. Swing and a miss. There we go. Speaking of singing, dun dun dun. We have a mystical musical madness redemption. I suppose I can't just go uh, go sit next to her to redeem it. Then that'd be cheap. <laughs> no, we will find something. I really need to make like a formula for those to find whatever the next item or or word I pick up is. A song about twinkling titan night with the smooth and the silky stones. But now that I sing that out loud, it just sounds kind of risque. I really should have, uh, sipped, just in case that was a boss fog wall. Luckily it's not, and luckily I, I think I see a bonfire there. In the distance. Oh, now we've got ranged attacks. Great. Just great. Ah. Keep swinging high. There we go. There's the sweet chariot. So, we have ranged mages. We do have a bonfire. Let me make sure I've rested at it.
My apologies, madam. Do pardon. Little bit slower to dodge iron knights in uh, waist deep water. Gonna have to get used to that. Really hard to see if there is still ground underneath me. And when in doubt, I'm going to go ahead and assume no. Rude. Okay, I'll go around. a little close. Get out of here. Okay, so that is the cave we spied from across the water there. There's also a, what appears to be a side path that I am curious about. Ahoy hoy, welcome. And yes, this is a, this is a difficult area, but lovely. This actually looks like a full Dragon Rider, like the first boss of the game, effectively. No! Okay. <laughs> Darn. Very, very narrow. I should have expected. So I should likely drag him all the way back off of that little... Bridge, I will call it. I have lost my humanity, but I have not seen any summon signs in here yet. Regardless, we can give it another check. But I am assuming all of these mages will be back in play, after all of that cleanup work we did. Oh well. Constant barrage of homing soul arrows. There's got to be a song in there somewhere. This looks interesting. Why is there a guarded ramp? <laughs> Over here. Not as careful as the first time. Sunk to a watery death. Aye, indeed. With every misstep.
did a little uh, a little jiggle thing with his sword there, but didn't actually swing at all. Peekaboo. Oh, I peekabooed poorly. So so poor. Okay, this is the guy I'm forgetting. You stay down. And where's your little friend? Hmm, my Pharaoh's Lockstone. I'll have to come back and check that. If they just didn't home, this would be so much easier. <laughs> I am not dodging. Just try this Pharaoh's Lockstone with that mage out of play. All right. Interesting. What makes you so special, Helix Halberd? Helix shaped handle headed with a double blade. from the lost land of Olafis. Not a clue. Looks neat. Good morning, welcome. I have to imagine this is sort of doable. But why? <laughs> a good way to ambush that mage, but not not the best, necessarily. Maybe it's just a viewpoint? To make sure you see that dragon rider over there? Not sure. But neat. Alright, let's keep taking this slow. We'll try to get the iron... Old Iron Knight out of play. Perhaps even on some ground. I mean, I am breaking into his house and trying to kill all of his friends and everyone he was sworn to guard since birth, but so aggressive. It's gotta be... Yeah, here we go.
I thought I had uh, taken out that mage for some reason. I must be crazy in thinking this. Something satisfying about that death knell. Just a short, sharp... <gasps> it's nice. I did not replicate it. I just sort of wheezed at you, but y you get the idea. Now let's try a little of this. A little fire from the ancient lands, eh? I haven't seen fire like that since I left the ancient lands long ago. Does absolutely nothing to him, of course. Such a reach you have, sir. My, what big reach you have. Gotten ourselves into a little pickle here. How are we gonna solve this? How are we gonna solve this conundrum? Oh, the water. And he is not slowed by it, it seems. took everything I have in me. I'm gonna go rest now. I'm just gonna take a little nap on this island. Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh no. I'm so sorry that your employer thinks just because you're in lockdown you're suddenly available 24-7. That's never the case. This is a, a terrible misunderstanding. So what was he protecting? An ornate wooden door. That is locked. That's fair. Just to make sure, I'm gonna become human again real quick. I don't think that will open it. I think I still need to actually see the king first, but I know that once you see the king, there's like something else that happens. And then you also do need to be human in order to open this door. So just checking ahead of time, though I'm sure that's premature. This is just such a lovely area. I'm never sure exactly how areas like this, like massive underground lakes and stuff, exist beneath Dranglaic Castle and stuff. It almost seems like the entire world at times is built on this root structure, like the arch trees are... I don't even know what, the mantle of the world? And there is this sort of hollow, forgotten layer of it in every game that is so lovely. So I'm still skirting around this edge for now. We have an ogre to contend with. 
at some point. Oh, that really damaged me. Okay, and so did that. Down, boy. I miss the singing. I wish there was singing in every shack. When I'm king, a chicken in every pot, and singing in every shack. Ooh. That is fantastic. I will happily take help. And let me see if I am perhaps safe. Oh, goodness, I don't know if I am. <laughs> let me try it. I'll be right back. So sorry. All right. Let us get help from Lone Hunter Schmidt. Yes, please. Hello, my friend. Bow respectfully at you. You fire a shot into the ground respectfully at me. There you go. You figured it out. Teamwork. All right, start shooting that guy. No? Do you not have the range for it? There you go. Okay, you have the range for that. Maybe he's just a wiser man than me and knows not to anger the ogre. Oh, too late. <laughs> I'll stop being David Attenborough, just uh, observing now. No! Don't want my head eaten. Ah, there it goes. So close. <laughs> and so, so dead. The biggest shame of that is all the guys that will come back now. But at least I know where to look for a little help. I would have to be human again to accept it. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Just, ah, oh. let's waste a cycle on some uh, exploration here. Mm -hmm. That's not passable. All right. is equipped. There we go. Alright. It's probably unwise, but I've had enough of those uh, mages for now. And you. <laughs> oh well. So let's get this guy back.
interesting that there's another smooth and silky stone on that corpse, as though there was another Milfanito here, perhaps? But it has since died? They have since died? I would love to see if I can just get on past this cave entrance, is the idea. Which looks like when you summon a shade, sometimes a fog wall goes up that you, you didn't see previously. And it just means like you can't take your shade that far. So I guess even though that's where I want to get, I won't be able to take Schmidt past it. Perhaps he can help me on the way there. Mm. There you go. Taste that steel. Intercepted. The very last second. Alright, so there's another side path there. Not entirely interested. Oh, great. You can fall off the bridge. This is going to be rough, no matter how you slice it. Oh, such a bad time to miss. Here we go. <laughs> such little help. Oh, goodness me. my move as he was healing himself completely. Okay. I'm gonna try slipping out here. <laughs> there we go. I missed. Thank you, Elevation. So there is something over there, and there... I don't think is anything else over there. I'm not sure if we should look at it or just continue on. While I have Schmidt, let's look at it, because I'm going to lose him through the fog wall regardless. souls back over there by the ogre either. Oh well. Ah, oh, this just leads to another ogre. <laughs> I think I'll save. I'll save that for an ogre pass later. 
Because I do believe there is a bonfire just beyond this wall. Interesting that there's an item over there. Once again, let's grab the bonfire first. We've got poison shrooms! And another summon sign. Okay. Fire lit. Felicia the Brave, lovely. She will help immensely when we come back. And I suppose I should leave it there, now that we've got the bonfire. I didn't realize how, uh, how late the hour had grown. I should have been paying attention. So yes, I will uh, save it here for now, and we will be back about halfway through the Shrine of Amana here. Much to clean up still, but we'll get around to it. Thank you so much for bearing with me here. We will uh, be back as soon as possible. Hopefully I will see you again. Bye for now.